Welcome to Mac 21 and the presentation of the master class dedicated to particle system in 3ds Max. We are in the master class volume 9.0. This is the first course dedicated to particle systems, so they are both the basics and some intermediate areas relating to the management of the particle system in 3ds Max. What we will see in this master class, we will see the creation and management of particle system that can be used in many situations. What you see now is a file of exercise where there are biscuit that come out of a box emitted by a particle system and then collide with the ground in relation to the forces that can be used in the simulation and influence the particle system. In fact, we will study not only the particle system but we'll also study the space warp. We have 5 hours and 20 minutes in 44 lessons where we study the particle systems, sprays, the snow, the super spray, and an important part is the PRA, which is our advanced particle systems. Even the super spray is an advanced particle system, then we will study the basics and some intermediate areas. Because we will discuss about the particle systems and effects very important. We will also study the category of space warp. Where we will find all the forces that influence the particle system. And we will find all deflectors that affect the particle systems. Then we will also study these two categories of space warp fundamental. The particle systems are very suitable to represent any type. Here we see the particles moving through a tube. So they are also suitable for scientific representations. For example, the simulation of fluids that move through in the apparatus such as arteries. The particle system can be used to simulate the atmospheric conditions such as vortices, which then move inside the animation. Because these vortices are affected by the space warp, that are suitable to the creation of these examples. Here we will see how to combine the particles together with the forces of the space warp. The particle system can also be used to represent atmospheric conditions, such as snow, with systems very simple but very effective, which we'll cover in the lessons. We will study how you can insert inside particle system, the forces such as the wind to create the flow, that could simulate a smoke coming out of a chimney. The particle systems are also suitable for the generation of explosions, as we see represented in this file where we find several types of explosions that can be useful in the representations both of entertainment but also scientific we will study how the particle system may be affected in the movement from other entities for example here we see a particle system where some types of particles are influenced by an effect of bounce like those we see bouncing above while other particles may cross the surface modifying the motion of the particle. This can be used very much in simulations of nature, such as a water jet, which breaks down and enters into a viscid surface. The particles can be used to create the flow, such as the launch of rockets. To simulate this type of flow, here we have particles that are generated during the drag. This is the first part. Then there is a final part where we have many particles such as those observed at this time. We will see all phases of the exercise step by step to create simulations together and optimize the impact of the particle system. We can see here the particle faded in the time.
with the particles can be created the generating systems of entities such as those we see now then during the collision of the particles with the floor get a multiplication of the number of particles which can be used to create the systems of crowds or special effects the simulation is also affected by gravity So the particle responds to the laws of physics in 3ds Max. You can create many interesting things. They are available both theoretical lessons and practice lessons. On the types of particles that can be generated. And then we will make this lessons into practice to create scenes like the one I present to you now. For example we have a glass. We see in the shaded mode because it is more simple, where there are particles, and these particles are created from a surface. The particles collide with the objects that are present in the scene. Here we have an ice cube which is moves. When the particle will come in contact with this ice cube, will receive a deformation both as regards the path, but both as regards the size of the particle. Then we will study how the particles can be born, as the particles can die. As the particles change their velocities inside the animation. And we will do the rendering tests, such as we observe now, and we will study how to make the materials for these particle systems. In the master class there will be many exercises to do together. In fact we have 66 files that will accompany us. We will do the exercises also with regard to the modification of three-dimensional objects. So now we see an image. View image file, such as we see here an animation, that we will do together. Where there is a particle system to change, so by changing the surface representing the sea. We can create an effect like wave which grows exponentially, for the forces. Available in the space warp, these are effects that are used many in the film. We look how you can change the shape of an object during its lifetime. In fact in this simple animation we see a biscuit, that collide with the ground. and in the moment of collision changes its shape, and thereafter again changing its shape, when it collides with the ground. So we can handle a multitude of changes in relation to the particle system. The particle system, as I have already mentioned, is affected by many entities, so can be used to create the simulations such as these. A series of particles, which are bound to a certain surface area and respond to the forces in relation to the surface of containment. We'll also use the meta particles, which are the particles made to generate an effect of viscous liquid, as can be observed in this drop. We will study which are the settings, to speed up the display on the viewport and realize the rendering with a much higher quality. With the particles can create many effects, some are also fun, such as a flow of particles, that can represent a smoke, or an effect of vaporization, which is modified in time, to the passage of another object, here may, well be a car, which enters inside a very dense atmosphere, and moves these particles.
in the master class we will see how you can constrain the movement of particles in a structure that has areas with holes. So during the animation some particles will be restricted and will pass through the tube, while other particles will come out from this tube, and then will be affected by the forces of the dynamics that we introduced in the simulation. This is an example that we seen during the presentation of the images. You can see a wave effect that moves forward and grows on the time. We will also study the render settings for Mental Ray. After completing this master class, you'll be able to handle the particles and forces that affect the evolution and the shape of the particle in time and in space through these forces that we will see together. In the master class we will also see the differences for the materials applied to the objects to create more transparent simulations as these and simulations more opaque without altering the materials but by changing the render settings. Thank you, and I greet you. Greetings from Mac21.